Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome back to another video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and in today's short video we're going to be having a look at a recently released tool which for those of you who use GSX might just save you quite a bit of time. Now of course most of you will know that GSX is a ground handling service for your aircraft which provides realistic animations which give you things like passenger boarding, luggage boarding, refueling as well and catering but the most essential part as well as this is the pushback feature that it offers. Now GSX for the most part works pretty well out of the box in that it will push your aircraft back correctly based on left or right and passenger boarding will take place etc so everything will work out of the box however there are hundreds of wonderful people in the flight sim community who go to great lengths and it must be really time consuming to create custom GSX profiles for airports all around the globe and what these profiles are effectively do is make sure that passengers walk the correct routes if it's a remote stand rather than perhaps just being bussed to your airport or you're seeing the passengers literally walking through scenery that is there. The developers of these GSX profiles painstakingly mark out the routes that the passengers need to go to and also strategically place where all the vehicles such as the pushback tugs and the conveyor belts and the luggage trucks all are so that they're not interfering with any other items on the ground making it much more realistic these intricate GSX profiles become even more important when we get some scenery released from a developer so that the airport isn't a default airport but instead a custom handcrafted airport either a freeware one available or a commercial payware edition now, as I said, the flight sim community is just amazing and there are literally hundreds of custom GSX profiles for pretty much every airport you can think of, particularly the really favourite payware airports that have been released, things like airports released by Orbex and Fly Tampa, those kinds of developers. But not just limited to, because you will literally find, if you go on a website such as flightsim.to, you will literally find hundreds of GSX custom profiles available to download for any airport that you wish. Now installing these airports isn't particularly difficult but it can be time consuming once you've downloaded the zip file obviously you need to extract it and then you need to move it to the correct folder which uh, if I just locate this uh, now it's back a little bit up from the community folder and uh, I've actually got it pinned here and here are all my custom profiles there's the route at the top um, so yeah these are all my custom profiles that I've got Got in for all the airports around the uh, around the simulated world, and then you'd copy and paste it and pop it into there, which is fine if you're just doing uh, the odd one or two. But if you wanted to download, say, 20 or 30, then that could be really time-consuming to do. However, a developer has just released a drag-and-drop installer for GSX profiles, which not only makes it very quick and easy to install, but it'll also go through and perhaps replace any that you've already got installed and so you don't have any duplicates because obviously you don't want to have two custom profiles for the same airport and as you've just seen I've got that many in my installation folder for GSX that it's very very easy to lose track. So the program is very quick and easy to use. Once you've downloaded it, just pop the executable on your desktop because then it means that any GSX profiles you've downloaded, you can literally just drag the zip file onto the icon and that is it. It's done. You don't even need to unzip any of the GSX profiles anymore that you've downloaded. It's literally a drag and drop operation. Now, obviously, if you're only downloading the occasional GSX profile, then this program program probably wouldn't benefit you too much because you've only got to copy and paste uh, a file and pop it in the right folder. However, if you wanted to download several, then it means that installing these has now become really quick because you don't have to unzip each of them, you don't have to move them into the right folder, it's all done for you. It overwrites any that you've already got installed for the previous airport so you're not getting any conflicts. If there are several options
options available it will also ask you which one do you want to go ahead and install and yeah there you go so if you do have GSX or you've just recently purchased it and you want to make the most out of GSX with the passengers walking correct routes the correct video docking guidance systems all in place for all of the gates and all of the baggage carts etc no longer colliding with the scenery at your airports then GSX profiles are absolutely the way to go and I think once again I need to give a big shout out to all of the creators of these hundreds of GSX profiles that are free to download because honestly I have tried creating my own and it has just taken me so much time to get anywhere near close to what I can just go and download free from flightsim.to so a massive shout out to you guys for creating these for those of you who don't like drag and dropping folders and files into different places in case you get them in the wrong area then again this program is a great add-on because all of that work is done for you download the files you want from flightsim.to and just drag and drop Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have found this video useful. And there is a link to the drag and drop GSX installer in the video description down below. So check that out if you wish. If you have enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to leave a like. And of course, if you are new to the channel, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And of course, our live streamed flights. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all again on the next one. Bye bye for now.